My name is Spencer Stella. I'm the Ag teacher at Rain High School. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about our land judging CDE, which in the state of Louisiana, since we are still a predominantly agricultural state, is one of the most important contests and one of the, some of the most important skills that we are gonna to teach to our students. When we look at a land judging site, what, I, what we're basically trying to do is trying to determine what we can use this land for in its most intensive use. For example, we grade land on the scale from classes one to eight, with the higher the, the lower the number of the class, the more ideal for farmland and for agricultural use we can use it. The more we go down in class, the more that we start to find in, uh, less uses for it because of the factors that are present, which is what I'm gonna talk to you about today. Each factor can teach a student how to survey a land site, not only from an agricultural standpoint, but also from a homestead standpoint as well to know what kind of soil and uh, different uh, factors that they have to take in when actually developing a home site as well. So I'll take you through a couple of those things real quick and we'll tell you about them. The first thing we teach our students how to do is actually how to look at the actual texture uh, that what they're dealing with. The two horizons we look at are basically in common form we refer to them as surface soil and subsoil. Surface soil is very important because that's the most mineral rich and we want to try to keep that as much as we can. So if you look in our pit here you can actually see that we have a difference in layer a gray layer and a red layer of soil. And two things we're gonna determine. We're gonna determine what type of soil we have in that top layer, that gray layer. We're gonna determine what kind of soils we have in that bottom layer. When we look at this site, we actually find that we have a looser silt type soil on the top with more of a clay-based soil on the bottom. And this is very common in Louisiana. It's one of the more common uh, ways we see soil stacked in Louisiana with that silt being very mineral rich and we want to try to keep a lot of it. Here on our card, the students are actually told, and we look at erosion as a factor, how much of that topsoil we're losing. They're actually told that originally there were five inches of that topsoil present. What they have to determine is they have to actually measure the top layer of that gray soil and determine how much is there. The importance of that is mainly because the less of that topsoil we have, probably more fertilizers we have to add because we've lost that natural mineral rich soil that's very important to a land site. Another thing we're gonna look at here on the site is definitely slope because from an agricultural standpoint, the more slope we have, the harder it is to develop a row crop or to actually break and make rows to do production agriculture. 